If you've been dying to try one of these new fake plant-based meat alternatives, this video should hopefully give you pause. Hello, I'm Dr. James Bogash, publisher of Modern Health Myths, and today we're going to talk about a study that looked just at just how commonly intake, uh, commonly taken in these, uh, what the authors described as ultra high processed meat alternatives. We've seen them on the shelves, things like Impossible Burgers and um, everything along those lines. You've got a general idea of veggie patties, veggie burgers. Um, just one of the things I've said over the years is just because you don't eat meat doesn't mean you're a vegetarian or a vegan. A vegan or vegetarian is a lifestyle. It's something that's thought out. You need to pay attention to your meals, your protein sources. We can't just cheat and throw on a fake burger and hopefully have it turn out. So from a nutritional standpoint, those are not considered healthy. I don't. Personally, I've never taken one. I've never eaten one. I've never tried one. I've never recommended it for patients, and I will continue to do so. If you're going to do vegetarian, vegan, or pescatarian, uh, which is uh, probably even a better option if ethics are not part of your decision to go vegan, then we need to avoid those types of processed foods. We need to be thinking about whole foods, not how science can engineer them in a lab and produce them mass quantities. So um, in this particular study, researchers looked at two things. They looked at the intake of ultra high processed foods and they looked at the plant-based diet index. So basically the higher the diet index, the more healthy, unprocessed their diets were. Um, surprisingly, in meat eaters, in this particular study, 33% of them took in, 33% of their energy intake was from these alternative plant-based foods. Uh, pescatarians were around the same, vegetarians 37% and vegans 40%. So I think what's happening is a lot of people are, are deciding to, hey, I, I think I'll try avoiding meat by replacing it with these other alternatives. When they then compared it to the diet index, uh, remember higher is always better. The meat eaters were on the low end of 54%. The pescatarians at 61%. Same thing with vegetarians. Vegans were highest at 68. Um, those aren't 100. And it's likely that the, the intake of ultra-processed food had a tendency to interrupt the healthy diet uh, index because those foods are not considered a healthy part of a diet. Just because you're not eating meat products does not mean that you're doing good for your body. So uh, as always, make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs the information, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I will post a link to this particular study in the comment section.